Okay, today's project is going to be how to install a towel hanger. This one right here to be particular. Hi, and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about, and we're going to get done, installation of a towel rack. Now this is the particular one that I'm talking about today. This is going to be mounted on this wall right over here. But there's a couple of things you're going to need to know before you mount this on the wall. Uh, I'm going to show you what kind of tools you're going to need and then we're going to get started and we're going to get this job done. It's a fairly easy job and uh, I'll explain it step by step to you. So let me show you what tools you're going to need first. Okay now this is an example of what kind of tools you're going to need. You're going to need some drill bits. You're going to need a stud finder. You're going to need some type of a measuring device to see where you want to put it. Of course the uh, the hook that you want to install along with the hardware that comes with it and of course the directions. A small hammer just to tap in the mollies into the wall, a screwdriver and a drill in order to drill the holes in the wall. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is we located our now the first thing we did is we located our position here on the wall where we want to mount it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if there's a stud in here. We don't know if there's a stud inside the wall and we don't want to drill a very big hole until we're absolutely sure. So we're going to take our stud finder and we're going to come across this wall and see if we can locate a stud. Now if you don't have a stud finder you can just take a very small drill and drill a very small 1 16th pilot hole right there and right there. So that's where the really cleat is going to mount on the wall. All right, so enough talking. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we've already decided where this cleat is going to be mounted. It's going to go right here on the wall, and I already marked my holes where I want to put the, the mounting bracket on the wall. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to see if there's a stud inside that wall. So we take a stud finder such as this, turn it on, and just run it across the wall nice and slow, and see if we have a stud there. No. But here we have a stud right here. So we know where we're going to drill right here, there is no stud. Okay? If there was a stud, it would light up just like that. All right, so we know there's no stud there right now. But if you didn't have this stud finder, don't worry about it. Don't go out and buy one. You don't need to. What you're going to do is you just take a very, very small drill bit, such as this, put it in your drill. And then you'll come up to the location where you're going to put your mollies in the wall. Put your drill on it and drill very, very slowly. Now when you're drilling, make sure you're holding the drill back so you don't bang into the wall when it pops through the drywall. Okay, you see how that went through? You see how there's nothing behind it right now? So now we know there's no stud behind it. So if you didn't know where the stud was located and you put this on the wall and drill it and you could push in freely like that, then we know there's no stud behind it. Alright, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to do the exact same thing right here. Be careful that it doesn't push in and damage the wall. So now we know there's no stud there either. Okay, when you read the direction, it tells you you're going to need a 3 16 drill bit. So we're going to put the 3 16 drill bit in our drill, and we're going to make these holes a little bit bigger now. Okay, and now after we've drilled through there, we take the mollies that came with it. We just put it up on here like this. 
we tap it in place. Okay. And now after we have after we have the mollies installed in the wall, we're going to put this bracket on. You want to put it so that the bracket itself faces up. That's the way it's marked on there. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to catch the bolts, the screws that came with it in here by hand. Just like that. We'll get our next one in as well before we tighten it up. Okay, just like that. I am going to partially tighten it with the uh, electric screwdriver. Okay, and now, we'll, now we're just going to center it the way we want it, and then I'll snug it down as tight as I want with the regular screwdriver. Tighten this up as well. Nice and tight. And the last thing we do now is we take this, put it on here, slide it down, and that's it. Ready to hang our towel on. All right, so as you can see, installing that towel rack is really not that difficult. Just make sure you have a drill and a screwdriver, and you're good to go. All right, this job is done. It's on to the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, today's project is going to be how to install a coat. Okay, today's project is going to be how to install a towel hanger. This one right here, to be particular.